Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to use Microsoft Copilot. Copilot is the official brand of Microsoft's AI companion. It was formerly known as Bing Chat. It can handle questions and engage in conversation with generative AI. In fact, I generated this image using Copilot. So let's dive right in. Log into your Microsoft account. And it's best to use Microsoft Edge as your browser to get the most out of it. You can launch Copilot in different ways. In the top right corner, hover your mouse over this Copilot icon. You'll see this panel pop up. Click on this icon to launch Copilot in a new tab and it'll bring you to this page. Scroll down and you'll see these three conversation styles. Creative, Balanced, and Precise. I'll leave it to the Balance style for now. And use this chat box below to type in my prompt. I'm going to provide a prompt to write a 500 word blog post to explain Microsoft Copilot, its main features and benefits, and how it compares with other AI products. So after I enter my prompt, I'll hit the Enter key on my keyboard and Copilot will then respond based on my prompt and accordingly generate a blog post as you can see here. Let me scroll down. You may see some related articles here. And you'll also see these other options that you can click to refine your prompt even further. Once you're happy with the result, you can use these buttons to copy to export it to a Word or PDF document, or share it by email or social media. Let me close this dialog box. To start a new topic, click on the New Topic button, and it will bring you to the Copilot homepage. This time for the conversation style, let's use the Creative option. And for my prompt, I'll ask Copilot to generate an image for my blog post in which I'm sharing about Microsoft Copilot. I'll hit enter on my keyboard and it will then begin the process of generating images based on my prompt and come up with four images. As you can see here. You can use these preset prompts below to refine the results. I'll leave it as is and scroll up. You'll see similar buttons as I showed you earlier to copy, download, and share the images. Let me click this image. Down below you'll see these buttons to edit the images in various styles if you want to. For example, I'll click on pixel art and it will again generate the image in pixel art format as you can see here. I'll undo the result. To go back to the original image, you can also click this three dots icon and edit the image in Microsoft Designer if you want to. I'll leave it as is. You can also click this button bottom right corner to resize the image and convert it to landscape format. It will do so. And here is the landscape version. And if you notice, it changes the image as well. So I'll undo it. You can then click this three dots icon and then download the image to your local drive. Generating image doesn't always work well, depending on the type of image you're generating. Let me show you what I mean. I'll click on new topic and then enter my prompt in this box. I'm going to ask Copilot to generate a logo image with the words how to and always learning with a transparent background. I'll hit the Enter key on my keyboard and Copilot will begin generating the logo image based on my prompt and this is what it generated. As you can see, there are several issues with it. First of all, in the first image, how to is misspelled. Secondly, it also misspelled learning in three of the images. Thirdly, I asked it to generate a transparent background but instead it produced images with a black background. So the results will vary 
and you will need to refine the prompts to get more accurate results. Let me refresh this page by clicking the refresh button in the top left corner of the browser. Now this will bring you back to the Copilot homepage. I'll scroll down, and from these conversation options, I'll choose the creative option. I'll go to the plugins tab, and make sure that Suno app is enabled, which allows you to generate songs using AI. Now, if you do not see the plugins tab, click on the Copilot icon a button in the top right corner, and from this sidebar, click on this plugins icon, then enable the Suno app using this toggle button. I'll close this sidebar by clicking the X button in the top right corner, like so. In this text box down below, I'll enter this prompt to generate a song about struggle with a smooth jazz feel. I'll hit the Enter key on my keyboard. It will then use the Suno plugin to generate the song based on my prompt. And it can take a minute or two to generate the song depending on your prompt. You can then click this Listen button to play the song. And if you're not satisfied with the song, so for example, you can enter another prompt to add a chorus. I'm not going to do that right now. You can then use the download and share buttons once you're satisfied with the song to download it to your local drive. Let me refresh this page by clicking this refresh button, which will bring you to the Copilot homepage. I'll scroll down, and from these conversation styles, I'll choose the precise option. I'll click Add an Image button at the bottom. You'll see these options. I'll choose Upload from this device. I'll choose my image, and then click Open. And in this box, I'll type what breed is this dog. I'll hit Enter, and it will then analyze and provide info. And this can take a minute or two depending on the image. But it did a good job in identifying this dog breed as a Siberian Husky. I'll show you a couple more of what else you can do with Microsoft Copilot. I'll click this plus button at the top to go to a new tab. And I'll enter a URL in the address bar. Then once the page loads, I'll click on the Copilot button in the top right corner. And then click New Chat. And in this box, I'll ask Copilot to summarize this website. And then hit Enter. It will then provide a summary, as you can see. You can also use any website URL to do this. I'll click on this X button to close the tab. Similarly, you can open a PDF document in Edge and ask Copilot to summarize the document. So here I am in File Explorer in Windows 10. I've got a PDF document here. I'm going to right click on this document and then click Open With and then choose Microsoft Edge. You'll then open the PDF document in a new tab. I'll click the Copilot button in the top right corner. I'll make sure that the option is set to precise, and then type in my prompt to summarize this PDF document. And then I'll hit Enter. It will then provide me a brief summary in bullet point format, as you can see here. There is much more that you can do with Microsoft Copilot, and I'm sure it will keep evolving and get better. Microsoft Copilot is free to use, but they do have a premium plan, and they also have Copilot for Microsoft 365 integrated into apps like Teams, Outlook, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. But that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Well, hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.